Oh, hello! Welcome back. You might remember uh, this little nose that I got right here from the last video. You learned how to put a little clown nose or just really just a circle that follows your nose around the screen. <laughs> now we're going to pick up from where we left off uh, in our last video. This one, though, instead of using shapes, we're actually going to be adding images to our uh, webcam. Or, sorry, for our Snapchat filter. So, why don't we just get into it? So, the first thing I want you guys to do is just, like, comment out this, this list. We don't need this right now. You can press play. That's gone. Who, who needs it, right? I just want your, your beautiful faces clean. That's it. So, to add images to our Snapchat filter, what we need to do is get some images first. That's our first thing. So what I'd like you to do is Google some images that you want. Now, what I'm personally going to do is I'd like to first add a cat nose. I want a nice little cat nose. So I'm going to say cat nose. And here's the key to what you're going to do. When you Google something, I'd like you to do transparent background. Or sorry, transparent PNG. This is important. So whatever you Google, just make sure you put transparent PNG. Why? You want your images to be transparent. If they have a background, it's going to look really weird. And I might show you an example of that. Second of all, most transparencies are going to be a PNG file type. So when you Google whatever, cat, nose, hat, dog, whatever, just make sure that you put transparent PNG when you Google it, okay? Because you want to get a transparent image. You'll see why in a second. So go to images. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this first one right here. And it's a good indicator that it's a transparent image if it has that checkered background, all right? It might be transparent. Not all of them, but it's a good indication. And what you're going to do is save that image. I have, I'll be honest with you, I've saved it. I changed it to cat nose. So, okay. And if you look at the file types PNG, so I'm looking good, and I'm going to save it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my uh, image, and I'm going to do, sorry, to my sketch, and I'm going to do what I usually do, which is let's add that file. So I'm going to add file. I'm going to drag and drop it right here. Good, it's added. You can see it right here, cat nose.png. I'm going to do what we did in the last video. So I'm going to say let um, cat nose. I'm going to create my variable. All right. Then I'm going to preload it. So I'm going to do function preload. You might remember this from when we did images. And then I'm going to say cat nose is equal to whatever this file name is. So it's create image. And we're going to put in quotes. Oops. Uh, oh, this is weird. You can see my face. I wasn't even looking at it catnose.png. Okay. Now, what I would like to do is then position it. So you might remember that you might add your cat nose or whatever it is, but the big thing is the position. Now, where do I want this cat nose? Well, I want it on my nose. So I'm going to say uh, catnose.position is going to be nose x, nose y. So I'm going to put it where my nose is, remember? So if you look there, nose X, nose Y, remember this is all from the last video. I have my nose X, nose Y. Um, but yeah, so I'm putting this cat nose at nose X, nose Y. So if I press play now, I want you to see what happens. Well, it covers my whole, oh, okay. So this is terrible. So you can see it's actually there. If I move my head over here, the cat nose is there. But there's two problems. One, the cat nose is like, oh, hold on, let's restart that. The cat nose, get it going. The cat nose, the top left-hand corner falls my nose, which looks stupid, and it has that bad background. You don't want a background there, or else it's going to look terrible. So this is actually not the image I want to use. If you get a background on it, that's not the one you want to use. You want to find something that's actually transparent. So I'm going to try this again. So you want to look for another image. So I'm going to try, let's say, this one. No, that doesn't have the background. This one does. I'm going to save this one. Save image. I'm going to call this cat nose 2. I've actually already saved that. All right, so I got my cat nose 2. I'm going to go back. Let's try this again. Let's try with a better image. Remember, you don't want a background. Those look really ugly. So I'm going to go to cat nose 2. Okay. And let me just change this file. Instead of cat nose, let's do cat nose 2. And let's see if this one's actually transparent. And let's see. How's it looking? All right, so this one's actually transparent. So this is good, right? You see how, it has, how much better it looks when it has a transparent background? So make sure you're using an image with a transparent background. Now, 
The second part here is, you see how it's always to the right? The top left-hand corner is actually where my nose is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a few changes. First, I'm going to change the size of it. So I'm going to say cat nose dot size, And I'm going to make this 200 by 200. That's going to look fine. Let's see, it's going to get a little bit smaller. Okay, let's see how this one looks now. And still, it's like on the left-hand corner. So what I'm going to do is move it to the left a little. So I want this to move to the left. I want the x value to decrease. And I want to move it up a little bit. All right, so how do I do that? How do I move it to the left? Well, if you want to move it to the left, what you should do to center it is actually just go subtract, this will move it to the left, half of whatever the width is. So if it's the width is 200, I'm going to subtract 100. You can mess around with those numbers, whatever. So I'm going to subtract 100. And what that's going to do is slide it to the left. I'm subtracting 100 from x. So if I press play now, you'll notice it's in the middle. Looks a lot better. But it's over my mouth, right? That's not exactly. The, my cat nose should be on top of my nose. So I'm actually going to move it up a little. And this is, I'm just going to guess. Like, I don't, really don't know what the number is. So to move it up, remember, I'm just going to go to the Y value, my nose Y, and I'm going to subtract, I don't know, let's just subtract 60 and see if the, how that looks. Ooh, a little high, a little high. So maybe I'll subtract 50. Let's see if, how that looks. Ooh, that looks good. So now I got my cat. Look, I got cat whiskers. My own Snapchat filter. Boop, boop. Okay, so that's looking good. So maybe you're like, oh, that's pretty great. Now, the next thing I want to do is instead of adding something on my nose, I want to add something to the top of my head. I want to put a hat on. Okay, but the problem is there's no, like, variable for head. All right, if you've done this before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how can we get a hat on top of my head. I'm going to show you a trick for this. All right. So what I'm going to do is first get my hat image. So I'm going to look up top hat. And remember, transparent PNG. Um, I'm going to go to my images. I'm going to find one that I like. This one has those polka dots. All right, I'm going to save that image. Um, you'll see that I actually got this already. I got hat, so I'm not going to re-download it because I have my hat. OK, I'm going to go back. I'm going to load in my hat. Let's go here. Let's get my hat. Okay, perfect. My hat's loaded in. Okay, let's make our variable. So we're going to say let hat. We're going to preload it. So we're going to say hat is equal to create image. And I'm going to say hat.png. Okay, and, and then I'm going to do the position and the size. So I'm going to say uh, hat dot position and where am I going to put it? Well, if I want this on top of my head, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it at my nose and I'm just going to move it up. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use nose X, nose Y again. And that's fine. That's totally legal. All right. And I'm going to make the hat dot size. And I want it to be like 250. 250 by 250. All right. Let's see how that looks. Um. Okay, so the hat's there, but it's in the totally the wrong place, right? It's like over to the right and like down. So how do I move this thing? Well, if you go to the position, first I want to center it. I want it to go to the middle. So like I said before, I'm going to subtract half of whatever this number is. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to say minus 125. So that should center the hat. Like I said, you don't have to do that number, but that's a good, easy trick for doing it. So now it's in the middle, but it's way too low. So how do I move it up? Well, once again, with the Y position, if I want to move this up, I'm just going to take a guess. I'm going to say I'm going to move it up by, I don't know, 300. It's a big number, but let's see how much it goes up. Let's see how the hat looks. Oh, look at that. It's perfect. If I think if I move in a little bit. And now I got a hat. So hopefully this video helped you understand how to add images and move them around so they're good for your video. All right, that's it. Peace.